Hey Naughty Crew, this is the tutorial for the lock knots. You guys have waited so long for this video, so I'm so excited to be able to bring it to you. So the first thing you want to do after twisting your lock is to bend the lock upward at the point at which you want the lock knot to end. This will depend on the length of your locks. For some, this may be the halfway point. For others, this may be about two thirds of the way down or anywhere in between. The next thing you want to do is twist your entire lock in a counterclockwise direction. The direction in which you twist or loop the entire lock is solely dependent on the direction of the retwist. So for example, if you're naturally retwisting your locks to the left, then everything is going to be mirrored, where at this point you would twist the entire lock to the right in a clockwise direction. From here, you're going to wrap the entire lock around the twist that you just created. The biggest thing to remember here is that we're wrapping in a downward direction. At no point will the area that we're wrapping overlap a previously wrapped section. Another thing to remember is that we want to make sure that we are stabilizing the lock so that we don't cause over twisting. As you can see, my middle finger is housed inside of the loop that we've created at the bottom of the lock knot. This ensures that the lock stays in place as we are manipulating to create the curl. Once we reach the end, we're going to secure the lock inside of the loop that we've created. If you find that the loop does not give as much of a hold as you'd like, you can use a rubber band to secure the ends and create an added layer of security. This will ensure that your lock knots do not fall apart and increase the longevity of the style. Now I'm going to show you the process again on a lock that has not yet been retwisted. Please keep in mind that a retwist is not required in order to achieve this style. You may install these locks on freshly washed hair or even damp hair, just as long as you have a little bit of moisture so that the curls hold their shape once they dry. So once again, we're bending the lock upward, twisting it in a counterclockwise direction, and then wrapping the lock around the twist that we've just created. So here I'm going to show you how it would look if you were to go in the opposite direction. As you can see, going in the opposite direction will cause the knot to not stay in place. And it's going against the natural flow of the curl. So again, we want to make sure that since we've retwisted to the right, that we're curling to the left and then we're wrapping to the right or in a clockwise direction. If you find that you get to the end or you get to the bottom and there's not enough room left to wrap, you can push the entire curl upward along the twist that you created and that will allow for more room for wrapping. For this style, you're going to want to keep in mind the size curl that you're looking to achieve. For her locks, we decided on one lock per curl. This is because her locks are on the thicker side. If she wanted a wave or a looser curl, then we could combine two or three locks to increase her size. Note that if you are working with sister locks or locks on a smaller scale, you can combine multiple locks together to create your lock knot. This will create a more luscious curl and give you a larger curl pattern. I hope that this tutorial helps you create beautiful lock knots and gorgeous curls. If you happen to try them, tag us at Naughty Expressions. I'd love to see how they turn out. 